What's up my slain beauties? I'm back with another video. As y'all can see, y'all know what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about this face look, this beautiful look, this little nice color, soft glam look. And if y'all interested in this video, please stay tuned. Alright y'all, hey y'all, y'all like how I did my dance. <laughs> Alright, so right now I'm going to be working on my eyes. Um, normally when I want to do something real extreme with my eyes, I go for my eyes first and then my face. So that's what we're going to start with. So right now I'm, I'm going to be using this MAC. <laughs> I'm going to be using this MAC concealer. It's light. All the information about the products will be in my description box, but I'm going to be placing them on my eyelids. Just a little bit because y'all know MAC, you know, you use a, little, a lot of it. It's too much when you use a little bit it goes a long way so to make my shadow pop I'm just gonna be placing it on my eyes on both of them and then I'm gonna just start blending out just blend them out on my eyes so it can be easy for me to apply my eyeshadow start with my right one And working around with my left eye. So I wonder how all of y'all doing today. You know, I wanted to just, you know, do a video on, you know, just playing with makeup. Because that day I did want to do something. And due to me wearing something camouflage, I wanted to, you know, do something a little cute on my face. So now we're going with the color workshop eyeshadows and I wanted to do something very light. So I did that pink right there. It's like a bubblegum pink. I thought that would be really cute. Like I said, due to me having camouflage on. So why not just add a little color? So I will say that with the color workshop eyeshadows, it is kind of hard to make it pop on your eyes so I had to continue to keep building up because the first um first time me applying it you really couldn't see anything so I had to build up and as you can see I am doing the windshield wiper I am kind of going in like a circle first towards the end of my eye but then I just did like a windshield wiper motion just so it can the color can diffuse and blend out evenly And I just keep building. So how is my beauties doing? How are y'all? How was y'all days? I hope everything is well. Have blessings happen. Have good things happen. Now you can see as me building, the color is starting to show a little light pink on my eye you see <laughs> so I'm working on my next eye now and just gonna be building up doing the same thing that I did with my other eye this step is really repetitive because I'm pretty much just doing the same thing And when you always want to, you know, make a shadow pop, you should always use a base. Like I did, I did use that concealer, that concealer that was a little lighter than me, well, a whole lot lighter than me, <laughs> um, because it makes your eyeshadow pop. And I do know when I did take some pictures, my eyeshadow did pop and it did look nice. So when you want to do something with, you know, your eye and you want it to show like off the color, you should always use the base. That's something good. So I... Uh, I hope that, you know, my advice can go a long way.
Now y'all see that color, it started to show. Now we're gonna work on the second color. I am going in with my MAC palette with my shadows. I really do love that palette. They have some nice, pretty colors. And of course, I'm gonna use my favorite color right there and then the sheer, the shimmer one right next to it. But I'm gonna use that one first. Just to, you know, give out like this nice smoke look. I love a smoky eye. And just also for it to be a little natural looking at the same time. So that's going into my transition color. So like I said, this is very repetitive because it's pretty much the same thing that I did with the pink shadow. So I'm going to be doing the same thing just with a smaller brush with the darker color. Y'all see that blend? Y'all see it? <laughs> oh, now like when I look down, when I see my videos and I'm looking down because it's showing how pretty, you know, the shadow is looking on my eye. I think it really looks cute. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it looks so cute. So now we're going to be working into, you know, after that portion, just working into doing like the shimmer part. Second thing is the shimmer right there. And the camera, you might not gonna be able to see how much shimmer it look, like how you know glossy and shiny it looks, but in person it really did look nice. So what I pretty much did was like, I kind of made like a T, like just putting the shimmer, you know, going across my eye at the bottom. And then like I went up a little bit. So it's kind of like an upside, upside down T that I did. I thought that was kind of cute. Just patting it on. I'm not swiping. I'm just patting the shimmer on to my eye. I'm going to apply it to the next eye. Doing the same thing, like I said, it's very repetitive when it comes to you doing makeup because everything can be the same. So... And now I'm working on just, you know, doing an eyeliner. I really don't do wings and stuff, and I really don't put eyeliner on, but I just want it to be a little extra, so I put it eyeliner on my eye. I didn't do a wing because I feel like my eyes are already shinky, so. But now I'm going into just enhancing my eyebrows out. Um, Just wanted to enhance them a little bit, you know, shake them up a little bit. So I just did that with the eyebrow pump, so I don't really be doing, like, you know, the little brush ink thing that I see a lot of people doing now. I feel comfortable with, you know, just doing it with the pencil. That's just something I'm used to. And now I'm doing like 
I got this CoverGirl mascara. And normally, um, with clear mascara, I use it on my eyebrows, like if I do enhance them, just so they can stay still. And it can also blend out because it is a clear mascara. And I just thought that, you know, that's something I like to use when I'm doing my eyebrows. It makes them look clean and neat. So that's what I was using, the CoverGirl mascara, the clear. Now I'm using my Maybelline mascara just to make my eyes have a little bit of volume before I apply my lashes on. And I really do like this mascara because it does exactly what it says it's going to do. Make it lift your, eye, your eyelashes up and I really do like it because it lifts everyone up. My eyelashes always go, go all over the place so it can be a little difficult. So I'm really happy that they lift up. <laughs> now I finally got my eye, my lashes on. Like I told you, I'm not really perfect, but that day I did a pretty darn good job. I was very excited and very happy. Now I'm working on my face like I normally do. I just go in with my Wet n Wild Dark Cocoa Concealer and just apply them on wherever, you know, apply the application where it needs to be on my face, wherever I feel like I need a little bit of coverage at. So just doing the normal, the norm. And y'all know I really don't use no brushes to like apply like my concealers. I like using my hands because I'm a touchy, touchy type of person. So yeah, and that's what I'm doing with the next side, of course. The same exact thing that I did on the other side. Now, I'm about to use my CoverGirl Translucent Powder in 120. I'm using a brush for this because, like I told y'all before, my translucent powder is acting crazy. So, I have to put it in a plastic bag because it's just getting messy and it's all over the place. So, I'm just using a brush. And I will say that it was kind of weird using one, but I kind of liked the fact that I was using it. You know, because it was kind of easier than the brush that they normally come with and I was just patting it into my skin and also kind of doing the like the white motion the white motion as well so yeah I had a lot of powder going everywhere if y'all seen if y'all noticed that that's why I was laughing but yeah so basically I'm just patting the powder into my skin Look at that shadow. <laughs> it's basically doing the same thing to the other side. Just patting it in.
Now I'm using it's in the color workshop a lip pencil. It's kind of like a pinkish, a dark pink liner. And because I wanted my lips to be a little bit, you know, colorful, but you know, just natural looking. I just decided to use that first. I'm just lining my lips. And I'm just blending it in by putting my lips together. And now I'm going to be using this gloss Milani. That's a really good gloss. I will say though that it has like a, it, it smells minty, very minty. I don't know what they use, what type of products they use for that, but it smells very minty and it seems like it's very strong on the lip a little bit. But I'm just applying that in there. Now, I'm just using some lip gloss that I got from my personal beauty supply store. And just going to put that on top of it just to give it that shiny look, that glossy look. And there you go. All right, this is the final look. If y'all guys like this video and if y'all found this video very helpful, please subscribe to my channel, thumbs it up, let a girl know, show some love, and also follow my social medias, my Instagram that I just recently made, a new fresh start, at the real he loved Dej, and go at me on Snapchat, DejaFreeman98, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.